Good morning, everyone. Well, heavy rain and lightning looking likely in central and southern Illinois this afternoon and evening, but we also expect in spots damaging wind, hail, and yes, uh, a couple of tornadoes as well. So let's get things started at 8 a.m. this morning. We're just talking about isolated showers and a couple of weak storms for the morning commute. And I think that's going to be the story through the morning hours and very early afternoon. Nothing big going on. So we're going to jump ahead to 2 o'clock and it's two o'clock that storms become likely again, and the chance for severe storms begins. And it looks like we're gonna see two rounds of storms in central and southern Illinois. So a round of storms ahead of a cold front and another round of storms along the cold front itself. Now with this initial round of storms, it'll begin to push in to central and southern Illinois around two o'clock. The biggest thing we're concerned about is hail in these storms. Uh, penny size hail, dime size hail, that's definitely a possibility, but I'm not going to rule out as big as golf ball size hail in a couple storms. That is a possibility. So it looks like the peak of this initial round of storms is going to be about four o'clock. Notice some gaps, so some missing out on this initial round, but the storms are going to be around. And then just as this initial round of storms starts to clear the area around six o'clock, look what happens another round of storms along the cold front itself. And so a slightly higher chance of storms actually along the cold front. I don't think they're gonna be as many gaps in this second round. And with this second round of storms, though hail still a possibility and uh, tornadoes a possibility, the biggest thing I'm concerned about is just strong winds. I mean, we're talking about wind gusts 40, 50 miles per hour being common, but I'm not gonna rule out in a couple spots wind gusts as high as 70 miles per hour. So the peak of this second round of storms with the cold front looks like about eight o'clock this evening. And then by 10 o'clock, the cold front clear of us. So the chance of storms coming to an end and the chance for severe storms coming to end for both central and southern Illinois. But we can't stop there because though, notice how even the clouds breaking up a lot, we're not done with the precipitation chance just yet. It does look like things are gonna start to pick back up again around 7 a.m. tomorrow morning in the northern part of central Illinois, a little wave of low pressure working over us. So the chance for showers, not storms, but showers coming back. And yes, initially, early tomorrow morning, cold enough in the northern part of central Illinois for some snow, but we're not talking about much. So maybe Peoria, Bloomington, normal, seeing a tenth of an inch of snow, maybe a dusting indicator, but I really don't think there's going to be any snow farther south than to get Charles and Matthew, and I think they're going to miss out definitely in southern Illinois. And in general, the chance of precipitation for tomorrow, better in central Illinois and then southern Illinois, uh, the low pressure system having a bigger impact uh, in central Illinois uh, than southern Illinois. Uh, but in addition to this low pressure system bringing more rain to central Illinois, I also think it's going to bring stronger winds. But worth noting, we're talking about strong winds in both central and southern Illinois. So beginning around 10 a.m., tomorrow morning. Notice the chance of snow going away, by the way, as temperatures rise a little bit. So it's only early morning hours. There might be a little bit of snow. Uh, but it looks like a window from 10 a.m. tomorrow morning until four o'clock in the afternoon. We're in central Illinois. We're talking about widespread, not isolated, widespread wind gusts, 50, 55 miles per hour. In southern Illinois, a little bit weaker, but still very windy. Gusts 40, 45 miles per hour, beginning around 10 a.m. And, and lasting until four o'clock in the afternoon. So already it looks like just isolated rain showers, maybe some stray rain showers in Southern Illinois. Uh, I think by one o'clock, we're really just talking about a couple showers and, and probably limited uh, to Central Illinois. And I do think by four o'clock, chance of rain coming to an end, but I still think even at four o'clock, still very windy, gusts 50, 40 miles per hour, but after four o'clock, that's when the winds are gonna be decreasing. It won't be very windy anymore after four o'clock. We'll see windy conditions initially during the, the evening hours and then just breezy uh, through the overnight hours. So to summarize the severe threat today, it's from two o'clock 
this afternoon until 10 o'clock this evening, looking at two rounds of storms uh, working over us in central and southern Illinois. And it's possible you might miss out on the first round, but less likely that you're going to miss out on the second round. And so not only is it likely that you're going to see heavy rain and lightning, uh, but looking increasingly likely that we are going to see severe storms as well. Um, I do think that we're talking about in some locations wind gusts as high as 70 miles per hour and a couple spots hail as big as golf ball size. I do think we are going to see a couple of EF0 and EF1 tornadoes, which means winds as high as 100 miles per hour. I do think that's going to occur in a couple spots. Could be central or southern Illinois. And if you happen to get storms in the first round and then you get another thunderstorm to work over you in the second round along that cold front, if it's a low line or poorly drained location, it's these two storms, then we're talking about a few flood roads, not widespread flood roads, but a few flood roads are a possibility, both central and southern Illinois, this afternoon through the evening hours.